Hey everyone, this is DHTV, and today I'm going to be reviewing the MR500 by Victor. Now, I've placed a link in the description down below if you want to pick one of these up or if you just want to get a little bit more information. Anyway, let's get started with the review. Now, for those of you that don't know what a monitorizer is or what it does, it's pretty simple. It basically raises your computer monitor to a comfortable ergonomic level. This really helps if you have a desk that's low and you're sort of hunched down looking down on your monitor. By having this to raise your monitor, you're going to sit straighter. You can see right here we've got speakers, we've got USB ports, SD card ports, all different things that you can do. And this is going to really help if you have a large tower that sits under your desk. Just connecting a USB to that tower is a hassle. you got to bend down, you got to go under the desk. This is going to give you a central hub. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at all the different features and ports that this monitor riser has to offer. So what we're looking at right here is the back side of the monitor riser and you can see we've got more ports back here starting with a USB port. Then you've got your power input, you've got auxiliary and microphone ports, and then a USB type B port, which is gonna allow you to connect your computer to the all-in-one monitor riser. This way you can use all the features and it'll allow you to get that central hub as I spoke about just a little while ago. Now as for the cables to connect, they provide everything for you. Obviously you're gonna get the power cable, which you plug up to your wallet. It's gonna power the whole all-in-one monitor riser. And you're also gonna get two auxiliary cables, which will allow you to connect with different devices like your computer or a smartphone or tablet to access the audio from them and then transfer it over to the all-in-one monitor riser. And then finally, you're gonna get the USB type B cable, which as I said, will allow you to connect your computer or laptop to the monitor riser and connect everything together. Moving to the front side of the monitor riser, you can see we've got two speakers, one on the left, one on the right, and you've also got a dedicated volume knob here. So what this is gonna do is allow you to listen to the music or sounds from your smartphone, tablet, or your computer, and listen to them right through the speakers on the monitor riser. Now this is great, and I especially like the fact that they have that dedicated volume control, so if you want it lower or higher or off, you can control it all through the monitor riser. Moving down now, just below the speakers, we'll start from left to right, we've got some ports, First off, we've got three USB ports, and beside that, we've got an SD card slot, and this is great. It's gonna eliminate the hassle of going underneath your desk and connecting up with your tower, or better yet, if you don't even have an SD card slot on your computer, that's gonna be a benefit for you right there. You can actually transfer your videos or pictures right to your computer just by using this port right here. To the right of the SD card slot is probably one of my favorite features of the MR500, and it's the dedicated dock for iOS devices. So if you have an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, you can simply dock up your device here, charge it, and also sync it up to iTunes on your computer. Now, unfortunately, it is only using the 30-pin adapter at this time, but I have been reading, and they will be coming out with a lightning port adapter hopefully soon, but until then, you can easily purchase an adapter that'll transfer the 30-pin to the lightning port adapter very cheap. I'll link you in the description down below to the one I use, and then you can pick it up, and if you do have a newer iOS device, you'll be able to use this very easily. Now, another great feature with this is the ability to actually push it back in if you're not using it, so this way, if you don't want to have it sticking out like that you can easily push it back in keep things looking nice and clean now to the right of that as i showed you before you do have a dedicated volume knob here which basically allows you to control the volume of any sound that comes through the all-in-one monitor riser beside that we have another auxiliary port we have a headphone port and then you've also got a dedicated microphone port now one thing to keep in mind is that the cables are very large you're going to get about six feet of cable with each one of them and this is great because if you have your monitor riser on one side of the desk but you've got your smartphone on the other side and you just want to connect it up and keep it out of the way you've got the cable and the slack to do so. Finally, on the front side of the MR500, you've got a large opening, and this is great if you have files or folders or things that you need to just tuck away and you're gonna use them in the near future. It's a great place to put them, helps with organization, but basically that's just an opening. Put whatever you want in there, and uh, it's just nice to have that, especially when you have limited desk space. It's good to have any kind of space that'll give you a little bit more organization. In terms of quality, you can see by the video, it does look pretty nice. It's made of wood, it's got a dark matte finish, it's also got some glossy features around the button. Buttons. It's got a really nice font that's easy to read and easy to see. And one thing that I personally really like when it comes to quality is if it's going to shake around because there's no point in having a monitor riser if it's just going to shake around. And as you can see right here, I'm shaking it and it's not moving. And you can give it a little bit of a push and it's going to stay in place because it does have four rubber feet underneath. And it's also bottom heavy, which once again will help with stability as well. All right, so just to recap, this is the MR500 by Victor Technologies. The link will be in the description for this particular model. Also, I'll link you to the 
adapter. So if you're using a lightning port, you can connect it to the 30 pin. The adapter will actually provide you with that ability. That'll be in the description box down below as well. But in terms of how I've been using it and how I found it over the last two weeks, it's been really great. Not only is it giving me extra height for my monitor, allowing me to raise my chair and get a better comfort feel with my keyboard, but it's also allowing me to use the ports. And I find this to be a very big thing for me because I run my whole setup on a MacBook Pro. So basically having this full hub right underneath my monitor is really great. I can access the SD card slot, all the headphone ports, as well as have dedicated speakers through the riser itself. It's really great. So if you're looking for something like this, I definitely recommend the MR500. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video. If you liked it, definitely hit that like button and share it with your friends. It definitely will help out the channel. And if you like videos like this one, I post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one.